Hello once again from Merit Poker Room. I'm George Stefanopoulos and I'm here with the professional poker player Jeff Gross. Hello Jeff and thank you for talking to us. Absolutely, anytime. Um, I want to ask you first question is uh, about poker. You learned poker when you were 15 years old and I read that you have said that you were doing well since the beginning. Do you believe that a poker talent is something you either have or you don't? Or do you believe that someone can acquire those skills with hard work? Uh, yeah, I think poker is definitely something that you kind of have some natural ability or not, but that's kind of like anything, sports or whatever job you do, you kind of have to have some natural characteristics for what that is, but of course you can really expand your game and uh, learn a lot, which I've worked a lot on my game, but I always like board games, um, video games, so it was kind of like a natural playing a game and then it was for some money and you know it, it was good because I like games and I like strategy, so it was sort of... Uh, kind of fit into my uh, overall what I like to do so yeah I think it's a, it's a combination of both. What, uh, what exactly are the board games you like because I'm interested in that? I mean I'm saying when, when I was like 14, 13, 12 I used to play Connect Four, Monopoly, Trouble, all these kind of little clue you know any kind of game it was uh, in video games I played a lot of video games when I was very young yeah. um, so it kind of translates well into figuring out what works what doesn't work and, and getting looking to improve so you actually, have practiced, you actually have practiced game theory actually throughout those games and you implement it in poker I think yeah absolutely for sure game theory is really important definitely and then I want to ask you how do you improve your game do you have do you spend a lot of time outside the tables just uh, working on your game and what percentage of your time do you put outside the tables? Um, yeah, I think working on your game is something that a lot of players don't really do, and I could be better at it, but uh, for sure, I think the best way to get better is talking with players. I'm very lucky to have uh, a lot of really talented players that I'm good friends with. I mean, I could name names for a long time, but basically my group of friends um, I feel are very, very good, and over the last three, four, five years, uh, I kind of realized that talking hands was one of the best ways to improve, because you may, you know, one scenario, there, that's the beautiful thing about poker, it's not like backgammon or some game where it's solved and there's a correct whatever, you know, versus you or versus uh, my mother or my fiance, I'm going to play a hand differently in a different spot. So that's why it's so fun, it's creative and there's no set necessarily best answer, but it's cool to see other scenarios, talking with other players and, and maybe something you're doing set in your ways, you then realize, wow, that's interesting, I could do it a different way. And you kind of take your own game and then piece it together with maybe some other really good players in certain spots and you kind of make a hybrid in your, your own game. So whenever a new player might ask you a question about poker strategy, you always answer, it depends. Like, I know, I mean, I, I really, I don't mind talking strategy. I, it's a couple of my friends don't, some really like to, some don't. I mean, more so just not talking about bad beats, but I, I, you know, it's like, uh, if someone wants to come up to me and talk about a hand, if, if I have time, I'm happy to do it. And that's, again, one thing on my Twitch channel, uh, which I'm doing now pretty seriously, uh, that's a great way to learn, is to watch. And also for myself, not only am I teaching, but I'm also getting to, um, replay or have on a, a, you know, a documentation of a hand, I can go back and look at it and talk with others about it. So it's a really unique uh, double street, two-way thing. Yeah, I want to ask you about your Twitch channel, which is Jeff Gross Poker on Twitch. On Twitch. And uh, you wrote about some goals in your personal page, which is jeffgrosspoker.com. Uh, uh, you wrote about, your, some, about some goals in 2016. How, 2016, I'm sorry. How are those goals going? Uh, they're going really well. I've done, um, in terms of the number of views, followers, it had some really good success, uh, as well as I'm doing that stream house, which will be in Montreal, and that's coming up here. I'm, I'm actually going from, basically going there from here, and I'll be doing uh, probably six weeks almost straight of streaming every day from Montreal with some other uh, players as well. We'll be there. Um, really excited about that. So that's something, you know, people can check out and watch me on a daily basis or even watch the replays of videos, um, which is awesome. My friends, my dad, my parents, they come, they watch. My fiance, you know, I can be away and they'll, they'll be on there and talking to me in the chat, and I, it's really a lot of fun. I am also suggesting Twitch, uh, watching good professionals like Jess on Twitch because you really learn a lot. I, I do that a lot. Yeah. And um, also, final question about your personal life. How do, you, how do you balance your personal life with the life of a professional poker player who travels a lot to play live tournaments? I think it's quite difficult. For sure. Uh, you know, kudos to all the, uh, the girlfriends, fiancés, wives out there. Dating a poker player, being with a poker player, um, you know, it's not easy, but just like anything, you know, there's pluses and minuses. One of the biggest things is freedom to be able to kind of travel and go where you want when you want, especially if your uh, significant other is able to come with you or have freedom as well. Uh, and my fiance, I'm getting married in December. Uh, couldn't be happier. The happiest man alive. Thank you very much. Um, you know, she comes with me, I'd say 75, 80% of the time. Um, so it's nice. 
because she almost always comes with me uh, on like a longer trip. If it's a little longer, you know, she may or may not come, but it's nice. It, it, it's, uh, it's different because it's like, you have freedom, but it's also schedules a little tough. You know, poker, maybe you're up really late, uh, or some days you play like three, four, five days in a row, and then maybe you take two weeks off. So, you know, there's pluses and minuses. It takes a unique partner and uh, to be a team and really just kind of figure out what works and how to, uh, you know, not overdo it or underdo it and, and be uh, productive even though you have a lot of free time. So it's it's a, it's an interesting dynamic, but uh, very fortunate that it's worked out well for me and my fiance Amelia, and uh, it's been great so far. I totally agree, it's very difficult to keep a balance, I have lived about it. And uh, sorry, there is another question about the poker room. You've been around the world in so many poker rooms. How do you compare this one in your experience? Uh, so yeah, I've been, I've been to a lot of places, South Africa, Australia, you name it. I've just been a lot of places, which is one of the number one things about poker for me is traveling. I really do love getting to see new places, meet new people, go around, see different areas, regions of the world. It's so unique, every region, you know, it's like different parts of the world in China or Australia, here, just very different personalities, styles of play, people. Um, I've been super, super excited here. It's been awesome. I mean, literally, everyone's so nice. They're really into it. You can tell they care a lot. Um, it's great. And it, it, the, uh, the games have been good. And two years ago, I came with Antonio, and we played mostly cash games. This time, we're playing, uh, we've just been in the tournaments. We're both fortunately still in with 51 players from 324 total entries. So we're just, both, just 15 players from the money, yeah? Yeah, uh, so tomorrow's going to be the bubble. It should be pretty exciting on day three. But uh, So we haven't had any chance to play cash games this trip, which is good. I hope you know just go all the way to the end in the tournament, and uh, that would be that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the facilities. Um, last time we stayed in a different Merritt Casino, uh, the Royal may be over, and it was beautiful this time here where the poker is. Uh, it's, been a, it's been unbelievable, the hospitality. Last night we saw Iraesh. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing right, but he was unbelievable, so fun, so nice, so entertaining, and uh, it's been just an awesome time with great people here. You can check out the pictures on Flickr where Antonio and Jeff were having a lot of fun at the concert. Thank you very much for talking to us and I hope for another interview as a winner this time at the main event. Thank you. Thank you very much.